over here at the peace and security of my base in America. And I want to say this, that Nigeria is unredeemable. I know all you pastors, prophets, apostles out there are going to say the blood of Jesus, I rebuke you and all the religious jargons you've been accustomed to saying. But open your eyes. If in the East, Reverend Father have been killed, assassinated in their homeland, and the Church of God is already powerless in Nigeria, when do you think you're going to rise up? You're something. Your eyes are out. Your hair is still growing, but it's going to be a doom. And I'm saying this, and some of you are going to go, why is he talking like that? He's supposed to pray for Nigeria. Yes, we pray for Nigeria that some of you will be preserved. That some of you will be able to get out of that country. But I don't know where you're heading to, but the dilemma before Nigeria right now is that the Islamic State of Nigeria has already set its agenda and nothing is going to stop it. All Christians should be praying for rapture or for their deliverance and to endure the torture that is about to hit Nigeria. It has already started and it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. I've been saying this for years in the past videos I've made a couple of years ago. And folks, pastors, friends are saying, why are you talking like that, man of God, blah, 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 blah. You don't get it. You don't get it. You're so caught up with um, your fake reality of, of salvation over there. Fake miracles, um, occultic manipulation of destinies. It's all sold into witchcraft. Nigeria is due for cleansing. Just like the Christians in the northern state were wiped out, killed. And the southern Christian did nothing. The same people, the same hooligans who perfected that killing of Christians in the north, they are now in the south. And guess what? They're taking over. And nothing can stop it. You don't have guns. You have not been trained to fight war. You don't know how to fight with a gun. Even if you're given a gun, you don't know how to shoot it. Just like what's happening in Cameroon, where people are being killed every day. People are being killed in southwest Cameroon, and the world did nothing. That's what's going to happen in Nigeria. They will do nothing. They've been taking the oil for years. You need to understand what is going on. There is no hope for Nigeria. Whether you go on YouTube and prophesy hope and say there is no hope for Nigeria, the world ain't getting better. America doesn't give a damn about Nigeria. The countries in the world, they don't care about Nigeria. You are not important anymore. You're not a major player of oil. America exports oil to other countries. America now exports oil and gas. So you've lost your value. Nigeria has got no place as been Nigeria. And let me give you the shocking news. The Igbo land is going to be called the New Sud land. The New Sud land is the new Arabic name for the South Nigeria. Nigeria, the new Netherland is the is NU Netherland. That's the region of the north. All right, and the Westerners, you just cross in between. They need you guys. They need your resources to make it function. So, suffice to say, and I'm saying again, the civil war of Nigeria, the greatest killing Africa has ever witnessed, starts March 20th, 2020. Mark that calendar. It starts March 20th, 2020. It has already started already. What you've seen right now is what they've put in play over the years. They're not going to give it up. They've imported troops from the north of Africa. They've brought people in already. Just like what they are doing in Niger, in Chad. It's coming to Nigeria. It's already started. What are you talking about? You don't even know your environment. Those Fulani you call headsmen, they are the guys that have been doing all the stuff for you in the past three, four years. In your riding your Okada, giving you water, painting, doing your Megad. They've mapped up the whole country. You see the radio they had? I talked about it last year. They have a radio. When that signal goes off, everything falls haywire. Forget about Buhari. Buhari is not the president. Buhari is not the one ruling Nigeria. Buhari is a puppet. You all know that. Buhari is a puppet. He can't do nothing. He can't do nothing for Nigeria. He cannot save Nigeria. He cannot even save his own family. Talk to Nigeria. 
So you're in danger already. You're gone. All we can do is pray. And what are we praying for? That your soul will rest in peace. Those of you that can't leave. That's what we're praying for. That God will show mercy. Someone say, what do you mean? That's the truth. You have to know God now. Serve God. Leave all this fake stuff, unreligious stuff. Pursue God because I tell you, what is coming to Nigeria, eyes have not seen it, ears have not heard it. And I said again, if they have started in the East killing priests, Catholic priests, taking their lands, what do you think is going to happen to you? How are you going to fight it? Central Afri African Republic experienced it. What do you think happened over there? They have not even said it up to now. I wish you good luck, Nigeria. We we'll still pray for you. I pray that Jesus come early. That might be the only salvation for you guys. It's sad. It's sad. So sad. It's not your fault. We've only got leaders who never saw the future. It is not your fault. It has never been your fault, people of Nigeria. You've been sold out. And the church, it's all a game. They give you finance to build mega churches. Where do you think those money is coming from? It's to get the people, they know you love religion. So get you all hypnotized and get you in the cycle meal so you can think for yourself. Good luck.